not soup weather, but there's something about when September hits that in my soul, it tells me it's fall. Therefore, I just want a really good, wholesome, healthy, homemade soup. So today we're going to make a delicious soup in the crock pot. This is in my $1 dinners category, so please enjoy. Here are our ingredients for today's recipe. Super simple, super inexpensive, and really wholesome and actually pretty high in protein because we have two cans of beans going on. So this is just what I was craving. Total cost was $7.45, not including the seasonings that I'm about to show you. I'm gonna get eight servings out of this because they're gonna be like hearty, but also they're gonna be like sides. You can do this as a whole meal if you want to. So less than a dollar per dinner. I have an entire, do you call this a head of celery? Bunch of celery, that's what it is, bunch of celery. I have one white onion. It also got damaged on the way home, so it has a big split in it. Hopefully it's still okay. A huge sweet potato. Love this time of year when sweet potatoes are on sale. I'm all about that. I actually stocked up on them, so you're gonna see some really great sweet potato recipes coming soon. Two cans of cannellini beans. You can use any white bean you want. You can also use a pinto bean for this recipe. It would be really good. Even a black bean. You could do like a taco, uh, version of this if you want to do taco seasoning and use a black bean i just really wanted white beans so that's what we grabbed and then two cans of diced tomatoes you could also do like the 16 ounce or the 32 ounce i should say large can but these were cheaper in the 14 and a half ounce so we're just going to do basic seasonings let me show you what i'm using for seasonings a little bit of tomato paste to create more depth in the tomato flavor you don't have to add that if you don't want to i just really like that with all of my soups and stews we're going to do a little bit of salt a little chili powder and red chili flakes, a little cumin, kind of going for a chili vibe here, and some Italian seasoning. Just to kind of give it some herbs, it'll make it really delicious. If you can find these with the seasoning, they had the jalapeno one at the store, I just didn't feel like that one, but usually they have the Italian seasoned one as well. And I think Rotel has the same, but if you can find that, highly recommend, because then you can just dump all this in and you don't have to have any additional seasoning unless you want to. Let's get started on washing and chopping and then throw this into the crock pot. What a great day to be alive, to quote Whitney Simmons. All right, so obviously this is a really simple, straightforward recipe. We're just cutting some vegetables. I just wanted to include a couple swaps you could make if you wanted to. I mentioned in the beginning you could swap it for like pinto beans or black beans. That would be so good with taco seasoning. And then I would actually flip out the celery for maybe a carrot, just because I don't feel like celery, in my opinion, goes with like a taco soup. You could also switch it out for a can of corn if you wanted to, or if you have some corn in your freezer, if you are a gardener. Just a quick thought for that. Like I said, with either pinto or black beans, so it would be more like a taco-ish kind of soup. You could serve it over rice. You could add noodles to it. If you're going to do the rice, I would add the rice to the pot when you started cooking in the crock pot. Um, if you're going to add noodles, I would add them at like the last 10 minutes. So that way they are not, you know, disintegrating, especially gluten-free noodles. Just a, just an idea. You can also use different types of potatoes if you want to. Obviously I'm just kind of giving you some ideas just so you can work through what you have in your pantry, because I feel like that is the best thing for these types of recipes. So as you saw, I did chop off a huge chunk of the celery, just personal preference. Me and my husband just don't like the end so much. I know a lot of people will see that as like wasteful, but I do use the ends, both the bottom and the top. I use the skin of the onion. I just soak everything. Um, same with the skins of the sweet potatoes. And I save all of those scraps and I make my own veggie broth. I typically don't make it during the summertime. At least I haven't recently, but I will save all of that into a bag. As you can see here, I have a bag that is ready to go. I've used this little Ziploc bag 
probably like eight times now. I have a couple of these in my freezer and I will soon make a bunch of veggie broth. And if I don't use it up in a week, I will put it back into the freezer and just thaw it as I like to use it. I really love to do that for soup season because it just adds so much depth and element because in this soup, I'm actually just using water. And side note, guys, I got a new can opener. I got this on clearance at my local grocery store for a dollar. It's the best can opener, can opener ever. Like, it's amazing. I did not throw away my old one because it's kind of nostalgic. It's 14 years old, so I feel like I kind of have to keep it at this point. No idea what brand this is. I was trying to look here real quick. No idea. It's probably just some cheap brand, but it was on the clearance for a dollar, and it's amazing. I thought I would take you know, a risk at getting it. And I was like, for a dollar, if it sucks, it's okay. But it's so good. Anyways, I like to rinse my beans. You don't have to if you don't want to, if you want to add that additional flavor with the bean broth per se. I just don't like it. Um, it also just like helps my stomach if I rinse them. So I will rinse them really well, take all the bubbles away, and then just add my beans to the crock pot that way. Every single crock pot season, I try to add a lot of recipes into my arsenal, but you can check out the playlist that I have linked down below for you if you want more $1 meal ideas, if you want some more crock pot meal ideas, but I always try to add those in in case anybody's new here and they're looking for some new ideas. So we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings to the pot, add our tomatoes, add our beans, and then for water, I added about six cups of water. I just fill it all the way up until everything is submerged in water. And then for a temperature, I did three and a half hours on high and then three hours on low. That just worked best for me. You can check the description box down below if you want the full recipe, I'll add it for you. And of course the time for cooking as well. You'll have to let me know what's your favorite thing to make in the crock pot. Personally, I just like soups and stews. I also have made quite a bit of breads in my crock pots before, so those recipes are also linked down below. I like to do it on the weekend, start it in the morning slash afternoon-ish and do it more for a meal prep. That's what I did for this day because it was way too hot. It was 105 degrees out, so it was way too hot to have soup for dinner, but this is a soup that I feel like is really, really good to have for lunches throughout the week. We also like to eat it cold. I know that seems kind of counterproductive since we are making a soup, but to have it with some bread or a salad or a sandwich is just really delicious. I mean, Panera does that all year round, so I don't think it's super odd to have soup when it's 100 degrees. But there's something about when it feels like fall, I just wanna pull my crock pot out and get everything going. And this was such a delicious soup. We had so much soup left over. I'm gonna share with you what a serving looks like, and then you'll see how much was left over. This definitely is a large serving. It's about two bowls full of this if you were to do eight servings. If you just did one bowl, it would be 16 servings, which is a ton, but two bowls would be a serving. So this is like a half a serving. And then I'll also share with you how much is left over after I took out a full serving. So I have an entire huge container, or excuse me, two containers of leftover soup that we can have throughout the week. And we can also freeze some if we don't use it all. But these are huge, massive containers. And like I said, this made eight servings and you saw half a serving there. Thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned because I'm doing a whole crock pot series as I do every single fall. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single recipe that I post. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.